In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use parametric modeling with FreeCAD. To get started, click on File, right here, New. Now to make things a little easier to see during the tutorial, we're going to change the background color to black. This is optional, but I think it makes things a lot easier. Click on Edit, Preferences, click on Display, click on Colors, click on Simple Color, and select Black. Click OK, click Apply, click OK, and we're ready to go. Next, we will create our parametric modeling spreadsheet. In this spreadsheet, we will store all of our dimensions for the model that we're creating. To do this, we select the spreadsheet workbench. Click here and here. And to create the spreadsheet, finally, we click here. Note we could rename the spreadsheet here by right-clicking and clicking on Rename. For instance, we could name it Dimensions if we like. But for this tutorial, we're simply going to leave it named Spreadsheet for clarity. Now let's give a friendly name to each dimension we're going to use in our model. The first dimension, we'll name it Panel Width. The next dimension, we will name Panel Height. Now let's tell FreeCAD what unit symbol we want displayed in the spreadsheet. To do that, let's select cells B2 and B3. Right click, go to Properties, go to Display Units, and type MM for millimeters, and click OK. Now let's create an alias name for each value in the spreadsheet. To do that, click here on B2, and then go here and type in the alias name. In our case, we're going to simply name it Panel Width with no space. Now let's click in this cell and give it an alias name of Panel Height with no space. Next, let's enter the initial dimensions we want for our model. For the model width, we're going to make it 40 millimeters. And for the model height, we're going to make it 20 millimeters. Next, let's create our model. For this tutorial, a simple rectangle will work to give us the idea of the power of using parametric modeling. So to create the rectangle, let's first go to our Part Design Workbench. Click here and here. And then we want to create a new model, or a new body I should say, and a new sketch. And we want to create the sketch in the XY plane. Now we want to click the Create Rectangle tool right here, and let's draw a random size rectangle on the screen. Click and right click. Now we're going to set the dimension of the top of the rectangle. And to do that, we click on this tool right here, the Constrain Distance tool. Click on this line, and this is important, we do not type in the dimension. We click this icon right here. And here, instead of entering the dimension, we enter the name of the spreadsheet, which in our case is simply Spreadsheet. Followed by a period, followed by the alias of the dimension that we want. We can either type that or we can scroll down and find that here at Panel Width and click OK and click OK. And notice that our dimension for the width has changed to 40 millimeters, which is exactly what we have in our spreadsheet right here. Back now to our model. Now we want to set the height of the rectangle. 
To do that, once again with the Constrained Distance tool, we click this line here. And again, instead of typing in the dimension, we click on this very small icon here, Enter an Expression. And again, instead of typing in a number, we type the name of the spreadsheet, followed by a period, and then we can either type or scroll down and find the alias for the dimension that we want from the spreadsheet. In this case, panel height. And notice that we are using the alias, so there's no space in panel height. Click OK, click OK, and there we have it our 20 by 40 millimeter rectangle, which is exactly what we defined in our spreadsheet. Now we can modify the dimensions by clicking on the spreadsheet tab right here and simply changing the dimensions. Let's make the panel width 50 millimeters and the panel height, let's make that 25 millimeters. Now we return to our sketch view, clicking this tab. And if necessary, we have to double click the dimensions to get them to update. And indeed, now we are 50 by 25 millimeters. Next, we will demonstrate the real power of parametric modeling. And that is, we can make various dimensions dependent on other dimensions. This way, we can resize, scale, or change our model by just changing the underlying reference dimension. To do this, let's click on our spreadsheet tab again and change the horizontal dimension, the panel width, to 60 millimeters. And the panel height, let's change that to panel width divided by 2 and we have to put an equal mark there at the beginning. This will tell FreeCAD that we want it to take the panel width dimension and divide it by two. So in essence, we've entered a formula into this cell. And you can see that formula right here. Now let's go back to our sketch view, clicking this tab. Double click our dimensions to get them to update if necessary. Sometimes they update automatically, sometimes they don't, it seems. And kaboom, here we are, 60 millimeters by 30 millimeters. So to review, parametric modeling allows you to create a model of any complexity. In our case, we just used a simple rectangle. And once we've created our model, we can define its dimensions in a spreadsheet or table like we just did such that the key dimensions are dependent on some base dimension or dimensions. This allows you to resize, scale, or change the model by simply modifying the base dimension or dimensions. And that is a very powerful feature. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.